Morning, kids. It's Miss Fancy here. Just going to spend five minutes with you this morning talking through uh, kind of our remote learning plans um, for all students if and when the need arise that we need to work from home. OK, so first of all, I just want to talk you through something called Office 365. You might have heard of that. And essentially, it's kind of Microsoft Word, Office, PowerPoint, uh, Excel, Teams and OneDrive. OK, you all have full access to Office 365 and it's free to all students on roll. So the one thing that we ask you to do is please download the following uh, from which we are going to deliver most of and the majority of our remote learning okay so you have full access to office 365 so on your tablet your desktop your phone um, if you can best prepare yourself i would say download the following um, and then you're going to be in the po best possible setup okay i'm just going to talk through a few of these different things and how we're going to deliver the majority of our remote learning this morning so first of all microsoft outlook okay there is an outlook app which you can download on your phone computer and tablet it, or you can just access that through the MLE, okay? And that's essentially your email account, your emails. Many of you will be familiar with that, kids. Um, you'll be used to receiving emails from your teachers and from other colleagues. Um, and obviously, that's a great way to um, keep in contact and keep that communication up uh, with, your, with your teachers if you're working from home, okay? You can send work back in, you can get feedback on your work, etc. So please make sure you are familiar with your emails if you're or not already, if you're not already and then the next biggie really is this one, Microsoft Teams. This will, in the main, be uh, kind of the, the forum, if you like, that we use um, to, to kind of lead with the majority of our remote teaching. And because of um, we can run live lessons if and when we can and we need to, we can share resources, we can set assignments. Um, when we set assignments, your parents be aware, will be aware and we'll know who has and who hasn't completed those. So this is absolutely um, kind of the key thing. And I'm texting all your parents and carers at the moment to to, to just try and get them prepared as well. Um, but please, please do make sure Microsoft Teams uh, is the kind of the, 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 the one app that you really, really need to have. And again, many of you will be familiar with this, especially those kids in Key Stage 4, um, I know uh, will be familiar because uh, you've used it in Key Stage 3 computing lessons. OK, so and if you're not, obviously, I think your computing teacher is going to go through that with you as well in the next couple of weeks. You might sometimes get some pre-recorded videos sent to you. So, for example, I saw Mr. Wilson teaching a Spanish lesson the other day and he'd um, kind of done a bit of a pre-recorded lesson and sent that to the cover teacher, which was brilliant. And that's essentially a little bit like a kind of a YouTube link if you like so your teacher might send you the link and you'll just click on that and you can watch that from your phone um and but you've still got that teacher input for um for you guys um but and that's going to be more likely in practical subjects like pe and then the powerpoint as we know download office so you have access to powerpoint um, and some teachers might um, use powerpoint to narrate over lessons and again it just gives you that teacher input so we can keep teaching you um, whilst you're at home please be aware that if you're isolating as an individual or as a small bubble or as a class then we won't necessarily be able to offer you the live lessons and we won't be able to offer you the voiceovers um, all the time um, but we will be able to obviously set work via email or we will be able to set work via team OK, however, if there's a bigger group of you off, so for example, a four year group, there will be some live lessons and there might be the, the kind of PowerPoints and more pre-recorded videos. Everything's in the letter that I've emailed to your parents and carers, and I'll show you where you can find all the training resources in a moment. Something else that's really important, kids, is we built this around um, not needing to have access to a PC, laptop or tablet. So you can actually use most of this just by downloading apps from your smartphone and streaming it from the Internet. OK, and that was really important to us. However, if you do think you're going to struggle, please talk to your pastoral leader. Um, and like I say, we've, we've sent an audit home. We're trying to find out um, who might uh, need a little bit more um, kind of support with regards to access to devices. So please do let us know. OK, so the sooner we help you now, the more prepared we'll be if uh, we do ever need to go back into to a lockdown. OK, so everything you need to know can be found here. So I'm going to just click on this link for you. It's our website. OK, it will take you to the, our website, which looks like this. We're going to click on curriculum. We're then going to click on remote learning. And you'll see here there's a letter that I've written home um, and text home to all your parents and carers. Uh, we've got our commitments, so our individual absence and our bubble closure. So if you're off on your own um, or in a small group or in a class, uh, that's our commitment to you. Um, if you're off in a bigger group, our commitment to you can be found there. Um, and also lots of how to guides, so some visuals um, and some training 
seen in videos that Mr. Wright and the team have, have done a fantastic job on. OK, so, for example, I click on here and it's going to tell me how to access Teams on a desktop. So everything that you could possibly need will be here on the website. What's most important to us, of course, is keeping you safe. So please do have a little look at this. I'm going to keep it up on the screen for 30 seconds. Your safety is our number one priority. OK, so please, please, please be aware of the following. OK, and just a reminder that any behavioural concerns will be dealt with as appropriate and by following our policy. So when you're using things like the chat function, um, you know, and you're in live lessons, please remember, it's just like being in the classroom. It's just like being in the school building. Your safety uh, is our number one priority, you and that of your colleagues, peers and our staff. OK, so it's really, really important that we are sensible and that we are safe at all times. Okay, and just to finish off then, kids, I'm just going to show you this. Your form tutor in a moment is going to hand you out a sticker that's going to look a little bit like this. Please stick that in the inside front cover of your planner. Again, it's just another way if you had to go home or if you were at home and you'd forgotten where the resources and the training videos are. It's just a little reminder of where, as to where you can find everything. And again, a reminder as to get yourselves prepared by downloading Office 365 from that website. Like I say, it's free to you all um, and we'll get ourselves sorted sorted and ready if and when we need to be off again. Any questions, uh, speak to your pastoral leaders, speak to me, Miss Fancit. Thanks for listening this morning, everybody, and have a great day. Bye-bye.